I didn't know how to do it, but I knew that that's what I wanted to do. I don't know how I'm going to get there, but I'm going to spend my whole life, my whole life trying to figure it out. Seven pounds, nine ounces, your champion is Jacob Wheeler, your 2012 Forest Wood Cup champion, Jacob Wheeler. He is the youngest BFL All-American champion ever. The youngest Sportsbook Cup champion in history. It, it means the world. It is the biggest thing that's ever happened in my life. Won the second stop at Table Rock. Wow! Unbelievable! Jacob Wheeler makes history! The run continues for Wheeler. All right, guys, welcome back. Day one of practice today here on the St. Lawrence for stop five of the BBT, Major League Fishing BBT. Two pound minimum this week, and we are on the St. Lawrence River. Small mouth, large mouth, that's the question. I got a feeling fishing is going to be good, and I'm going to take you along for the ride. As always, uh, man, it's going to be an interesting day, to say the least. It's beautiful. It's actually 43 degrees. It's 43 degrees to take off, so, I mean, that's that's pretty dang chilly. I mean, I'm not, you know, it's been 80, 90 degrees the house, and jump up here and it's 43 degrees, I mean, I feel like we're, it's the fall again or it's winter time. So, we're gonna go out here and see if we can't find a few. Let's go see if we can find a couple bits. Absolutely chewed a little swim bait. So we got out here on the flat. Now it is a two pound minimum this week, so we're gonna see what this fish weighs. It did not take long to get a bite. I just put it that way. It did not take long. It is not going to suck this week. I got a feel. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell y'all. It's not gonna suck. 244. Two and a half pound small mouth. This fish is literally a 15 and a half inch, 15 and a half inch small mouth, two and a half, 244, which is just shy. So, all right, okay. let's see uh, what's up. I mean, dude, that thing is so fast. I literally pigeon there, squeak. A little guy. A little itty bitty guy. But he bit. Quickly. There you go. All right, buddy. Here, let me get you back in there. Thanks for biting. Oh, just here. I just got down here. I was up in Waddington. I decided to slide down. 
I appreciate you boys catch them up. Absolutely. I don't small, dude. Not even keepers, man. Got us one. You gotta check in and see it's not the size you want here on the St. Lawrence River. 189. See you later, buddy. I mean, they're on these beds, but I can't catch no big ones. Two something. Two something. Two and a half pounder. Two and a half pounder. Go right back, buddy. Okay. There's a lot of them, man, but there's not very many big ones. That's the problem. Gee, working too hard to catch. Man, I gotta find them better ones. There we go. Solid one. Mm-hmm. There was one that bit my dang hair jig there. Holy crap, they're freaking starting to show up. They're pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Two pounder. 2.5. Yeah, they're starting to really get on this stuff. Come on. Okay. I gotta get back up. Wasn't there. Saw him when I was running, I was like, ah. I was like, one right there. They're so bright. So basically, this is the thing. Like, I, I really haven't given you guys an update. And uh, fish are up here cruising and spawning. I'm trying to sort of figure out an area of where there's a concentration of fish is the key. If you can get a concentration of fish going, a lot of these fish, some of them you're catching while you're just fishing, that are spawning and some are pre-spawn. Seems like these are very fresh beds. I've been, where I started this morning, there was a lot of old beds, but I also was looking at more stagnant areas. So this definitely seems like, you know, it's the deal. I mean, it's most definitely does. If there's a really good looking little zone right there, you would think there would be one right here. I think I already see him. Yeah, he's a nice one. He's a nice one. You can see him right there. It's gonna take a lot of weight, boys. Huh. Huh. A lot. I'm not catching these fish, but I'm not I don't know how easy it is gonna, it's gonna be to catch them, but it seems like when I have tried to I'm able to generate a few bites um, and get those bites. So and I've just been able to get some bites just fishing, throwing that little little VMC marabou hair jig down rocky shoreline. You know, a lot of these fish that are spawning will just eat that, they'll come up there and bite that thing. There's a little bit of, you only have a split second, so you want to try to hurry up and, and look down there when you can. Hey, y'all have a good one. Catch some of them right there.
You don't know. Baby bass. Baby bass. So we are sitting on a bed right now trying to determine we've been catching a lot of the ones I don't know if they are scoreable or not you don't want to be running to and this is the other thing is like if they're close to scoreable and they're 210 two, two and you weigh them and they're not going to be 210 when you come back so I've got some really nice ones on the bed and then I got some good cruisers I got a combination of it all but man just gotta get that they're actually pulling up as we speak for sure i started dialing like what they're wanting to get on but i you know it's interesting because like each fish is sort of unique they don't they're just like largemouth you know you have they're typically easier to catch than largemouth but you just never know with the smallmouth sometimes you sit there and you work your butt off and finally get them to bite hey, if you're that hard to catch i don't want nothing to do with you Hmm. Well, if he, ain't, if he ain't that easy to catch, if he's close, there ain't no reason to come after him. That's something right there is hard to catch. Okay. Let's ride. Yeah, I mean, that's... There's one right there. He's a he's a scoreboard right there. That one is for sure. Two point five. Enter. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got here. There he is right there. Let go of it, please. All right. Oh, he's not even keeper on me. Ah, he is. First in the morning. Stop that, please. Let's see where the scale's at. That's a 240. I'm gonna say two and a half pounder. I didn't even know I did that. Stop it. I didn't realize it was a dang freaking, I had the hook on. Gosh dang it, that's a big one too. Four and a half. Dang. It's 
It must be like right, right there. That's the bed. Dang gum. Big and two. Big head one. Three pounder. So I got one with a hook on it and one without. So that way I can check them. I think they're close to two pounds pitch over there. They bite it pretty quick. Don't zzz. catch them that way you're not running to them in the tournament. That's that's really the biggest key. There's a lot, actually some decent ones here. Nope. Non-scorable. All right, so we just got one up here. I can't really tell how big he is. We'll pitch it out there and sort of see what he is. It's all decent, but I can't really tell. There he is. We nipped it. So a lot of little ones, a lot of little pound and a halfers. And so that's the thing, as I sort of go through here, I just want to make sure I'm not wasting my time. Now I figure I won't bite it. Got him. Wanted to see where he is. I'm trying to catch you. I'm just, I am trying to catch you, but I'm just trying to weigh you. I need to know what you are. I think you're two something, but 245. Alright, you're 245. Done. Just trying to get better at that flogging thing. I jacked up so if you all I had this in my truck last night. Literally had this, this set up in my truck last night and or my boat fell out and yeah, fell on the road and got cracked. Somebody ran over it and yeah, there it is. So that is why I'm flogging with half of a flogger. Just FYI. And basically for all of you who don't know what this is, it basically just cuts the glare. So you have all the wind, water's super clean up here. So I'm able to sort of see, okay, hey, that's a 12 inch or that's a two pounder, so on and so forth. And so that helps a lot when you're covering an area and there's a lot of wind or you can't quite tell if there's a fish on a bed. So a lot of times these fish are sitting out pretty deep. That's a pretty big deal. Midday update. Uh, we had a decent morning, seen a few fish spawning, um, and a few fish wolf packed up. You know, there's a few fish doing a little bit of both. Um, just trying to really figure out the whole key in, in getting numbers of bites. You know, I feel like finding groups of fish is the key. Now, obviously, um, right now I'm throwing a little vibrating jig right now down this little bank. Trying to find some largemouth. I'm gonna try to go largemouth in a little bit throughout the day. We'll sort of see if we can't uh, happen upon a group. Hey, video! Hi! Heck yeah, subscribers to the channel right there. What's y'all's names? I'm Theo Green. Theo? Theo, yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Starts here in like 
tomorrow actually. Yeah. So I'm I'm looking for them suckers. Yeah. yeah. You guys have a nice day. Talk hey, you. Uh, nice Bye. meeting y'all. Thanks for stopping. Always great to see subscribers of the channel. If you guys are out there, you see me, holler at your boy. Just say what's up. I'm working hard trying to find a bass, but I always can take a minute and just say what's up. Appreciate saying hey. That's for sure. Nice one. About a three and a half pounder. I'll tell you what, threw a Ned rig in there and couldn't get him to bite it. Threw a drop shot in there with this rattling Ned and they went crazy for it. I've sort of just been playing with baits to see what they really like. And I think there's something with that rattle just going tick, 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 doink. There you go. Let's see what he was. I'm gonna say 347. Took too long though. Golly, I had to work for you, Bubba. 354. Three and a half pound smallmouth. There you go. All right, buddy, go back to the end. Holy smoke. There you go, one more rod. Not feeling it right there. See, that's good to now, you know? I thought it was, I thought it was four pound. But I thought it was. And a half, but I was close. About a half pound short, scaled on why. I'm not man. Bluff Island's the name of that island right there. It's fitting. Nice little pretty bluff there. That's exactly what it is. I mean, it's, it's steep. I'm just gonna put it that way. I think it doesn't have small mouth on it right now. <laughs> One up there. One. Try it, you bite. Oh, frick. Ooh, golly, got freaking screwed up right there. What the frick? This is part of the dang freaking territory, I guess. Unbelievable. We'll give this sucker a little bit more time. Let's see, Let's see this flat it should have potential. 
I don't know because I don't like it. It's sand. Catching the it. Good practice. We gotta hurry. See, we can't find us a large mouth. Large head. Land. This place is pretty cool. Gotta say, it's a really good looking little match right there. We'll idle in and fish our way back out because that way we'll know how long we got. We did it! <laughs> we got us one. Not a big one. Non-scorable, man. Non-scorable. Well, I figured I'd at least come back here and check it out. I had at least made a couple casts for some large amount. Had to try. Well, we tried. We did catch a large mouth throughout practice. Now, I'm not saying there's a good chance of us catching one in the tournament, though. <laughs> Probably not. Large heads. We're able to get a break for me for this trip. But we got some videos gonna drop later on from St. Lawrence River that you guys are gonna wanna watch. Of some large mouth fishing a little bit later on. It's pretty good. Get back, hang out a little bit. You know, the good thing about this event this week, we are taking off at 8.30, which is sort of cool, because that means I can sleep in just a tad bit longer. <laughs> it has been one of them dang, well yesterday was just one of those dang long days, literally 5.30 to 9.15. Uh, we could practice and I took full advantage of that. So <laughs> it was a long, long day. Today took a little bit easier, but ran around, found some decent fish. Now we gotta put it all the work. So I'm gonna go rig a couple things. I don't know what we're gonna grab to eat tonight. I don't know. Normally we're off the water. It's one thing if you come up this way, if you come up this way at all, make sure you grab a bite to eat before nine o'clock. You try to stay out till dark. <laughs> You're not gonna have a lot of options. I've done this several times. Talking from experience. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Thanks for saying hey to me. Eggs. Straight eggs. Yeah, I could talk. Big dumb ass bag, five fish This ain't five fish You just get as many as you can. And talk good. When I hooked him, I was like, I said, oh god, this is a big. I looked, and then Big Giant was like, come shoot straight to the top. 
Shoot. <laughs> Shamu in it. To the moon. <laughs> Dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do. Apache helicopter. I'll tell you what, these smallmouth are not as fast as a Champlain smallmouth. Yes. Yes. You low key can get a five pounder in pretty quick here. Yeah, if you put them on a 20. All right. This is one of our favorite spots up here. Ella's. Right here in the town of Moorestown. Ella, Ella. We'll see how, we're gonna see how <laughs> DC. It's been a long day, boys. It's been a long couple of days. I've been on my knees a lot this week. <laughs> Come on, bro.